Hey guys, welcome back. So now we are working on number six, and the question says if pi is less than x is less than seven pi over six, then which of the following must be true? So in this case, the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of skim through my answer choices, and I'm just gonna make an educated guess and guess that the answer is gonna be C or D. And I'm going to assume that because of the periodicity of sine of x and cosine of x. Because they're waves, oops, let me go back to black, because, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna draw sine in blue, like so. And then I'm gonna draw cosine in red. Oh, we need some points. There we go. So because these, these waves have the same values, just at different times, I'm going to guess that between pi is less than x is less than seven pi over six, one of them is gonna be greater than the other. And actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this here and see if I can already figure out what the answer is gonna be. So if this here is pi, this over here is two pi, this area right here, pi is also equal to 6 pi over 6, because the 6 is cancel and then you're just left with pi. So this area right in here somewhere is going to be the area we're looking at. And if you look, we can actually already tell that this sine wave here for this interval is going to be greater than all of the cosine values. So I'm already going to go ahead and guess that my answer is C, but we can go ahead and further investigate it. So let's take a look at this unit circle over here to the right. So six pi over six, or just pi is right here, and seven pi over six is gonna be somewhere right here, somewhere in there. So we're looking at values within this area. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and just draw out a triangle. So let's say this here is theta, and this is our triangle here. So just for ease of, ease of solving this, I'm going to go ahead and forget that this is a unit circle. So let's just get rid of that. And I'm gonna make this a three, four, five triangle. So let's say that this value here is negative three, this value here is negative four, and this here is five. And again, remember that they're negative because this is going in the negative x direction and this, oh, I'm sorry, this is going in the negative y direction and this is going in the negative x direction. So now let's see what, what the values of each of our functions give us. So if we take the sine of theta, that is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that is going to be equal to negative three over five. And if we take the cosine of theta, that's equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And that is equal to negative four over five. So again, by looking at these two numbers, we see that sine of theta is greater than cosine of theta, or answer choice C. All right, so I know I went a little quickly through that, but I do hope that it was helpful. Um, if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave a comment. And I'm also a math tutor if you need any more help with problems like these. All right, thank you for watching.